Caribou is where I started my career with the Idaho Department of Fish and Game. I had only been uh, working a few months for the agency when I became a temporary on the Selkirk Caribou Project back in 1983. When uh, I started on the Caribou Project, I was working for Mike Scott, who was the project leader, and it was basically a study on the ecology of the animal. So we had radio cars on those animals, and we followed them uh, year-round by air, by ground, on snowshoe, by foot, up the mountains and down the mountains, to really look at how many we had, how reproductive they were, what kind of habitats they used, anything we could learn about the ecology in order to try to uh, make some management decisions. And what we found was basically we had a good understanding of, of what they were doing. We also had a good understanding that they were barely hanging on. And what we all as a caribou committee decided was needed was a caribou transplant from British Columbia to northern Idaho to help supplement this in, in, uh, in hopes of trying to get these animals back on their feet. Well, I think our first transplant was in 1987, and I think we brought in 28 animals from uh, Anaheim Lake in the Itches and Ilgaches Mountains north of Anaheim Lake in British Columbia. Unfortunately, that was the first transplant that we did uh, two more after that brought in a total of, um, I can't exactly remember the numbers, it was so long ago, but probably slightly uh, uh, near 70 animals total. And um, hope that would work, but as we know now, um, it wasn't enough. But when you heard that on both sides of the border now, that ecosystem that you had spent eight years working in uh, has changed so much that they pulled the last two uh, caribou out of the ecosystem. What did this feel like? Yeah, it's um, it's an interesting um, question. You know, these caribou are native to Idaho, so this is a native species that we've lost, and. Um, and it's not lost because of lack of trying. I think most of all what concerns me is it, it's, is it kind of happened with a whimper. Especially to me after all these years and knowing all the work that people have done, that uh, many of these, the problems that these animals face and that many other species face are bigger than just the efforts that, let's say, the State Fish and Wildlife Agency can handle. And we have, to, we have to look and do and act in much different and bigger ways, I think, to be effective and to, to do the wildlife management that we're going to need to do. And I think the caribou is a classic example of something that shows us that in a mere 30 or 35 years, even though we could say, well, it was peripheral, it was peripheral range and they were barely hanging on, um, 30 or 35 years from now, what species are we going to be saying that about in Idaho again?